Thermal power generation currently accounts for over 70% of the electricity produced around the world. It is an essential source of the electrical energy that supports our daily lives. The process, however, produces a lot of carbon dioxide, and developing technologies to curb these emissions is an important step in preventing global warming. The technology that allows us to separate and capture carbon dioxide in the power plant before it is released into the atmosphere is known as carbon capture technology. The captured carbon dioxide is then compressed, liquefied and stored and is thereby isolated from the atmosphere. This entire process is known as CCS, or Carbon Dioxide Capture and Storage. This is Sigma Power Ariake Mikawa Power Plant in Fukuoka, Japan. Located inside is Toshiba's Carbon Dioxide Capture Pilot Plant. This is where research and development into carbon dioxide capture technology for CCS is being carried out. This absorber tower separates the carbon dioxide from the flue gas, while this stripper tower collects the carbon dioxide. The flue gas released by the thermal power plant's boiler is first sent to the absorber tower. Flowing constantly within the absorber tower is an amine solution. This liquid has the ability to either absorb or release carbon dioxide, depending on temperature conditions. As the amine solution comes in contact with the flue gas inside the absorption tower, it absorbs the carbon dioxide contained in the flue gas. This amine solution, now rich in carbon dioxide, then heads to the stripper tower. Here, the solution is heated, causing it to release the carbon dioxide it has absorbed. After releasing the carbon dioxide, the amine solution is cooled and then sent back to the absorber tower. It is then once again poured over the flue gas to absorb carbon dioxide. This cycle is repeated continually. At this plant, 10 tons of carbon dioxide are separated and captured per day. The data we gather through the plant's operation allows us to verify this plant system for its efficiency, stability and operability, as well as its maintainability. Using the results gained from the pilot plant, Toshiba will continue to strive for ever more efficient and reliable carbon dioxide capture technology.